So today we're going to be discussing the Taylor series approximation. We're going to be talking about how you can use the Taylor series in order to approximate the true and relative percent errors. So uh, I, I did a video of this previously. If you haven't seen it, uh, you can go ahead and take a look at that video. But this is just going to be another example. So let's say we were given a question and the question was you were told to find the true and approximate percent errors for a function, let's say, e to the x using Taylor series. In this case, I should say we're going to be using the Maclaurin series. So that's just a Taylor series where x is equal to 0 in this case. So let's say you're given this question. Find, find the true and approximate percent error for a function uh, e to the x using Taylor series. And uh, find the first two iterations. Let's say, let's say you're, you're told to find it for, let's say you're told to find this uh, for this question, given that, given, let's say you're told that x is equal to 0 0.5. So let's say this x was 0 0.5. Okay, so what's the first thing we need to do? The first thing we need to do in this case is we need to go ahead and we need to write the original function here. Let's go ahead and find the Maclaurin series for this. And we'll go ahead and we'll use the first two terms. Let's make this a simple, um, a very simple question. So we'll use the first two terms only or we'll be looking for the first two terms. So f at x, the first thing you have here is e to the x. And then if you evaluate e to the x at zero, you're going to go ahead and if you plug this in your calculator, what you're going to get is 1. You're going to get a value of 1 here. And then let's go ahead and take the first derivative of e to the x so that doesn't change. You're going to get f at 0 and you're going to get 1 again. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use only two terms in this case. The Maclaurin series will keep going on forever in this case. And if you use more terms, all that's going to happen is your true and approximate errors are going to keep shrinking for each iteration. So let's do it for the first term. So if we were doing the first term, let's say we were told, let's say, let's start with the first term. Because let's suppose this question said approximate uh, the error at each term. So if we were to approximate the error at each term, it would look like this. So the first term, if you were to do f at x, you would say that the first term using the Maclaurin series is 1. Okay, so if it's 1, to calculate the true value, you would need to do e to the 0 minus 1 over 0 0.5, I should say, because we were told that x is equal to 0 0.5. So this is how you calculate the true value. You have to use your original function or you have to use what you're told to evaluate it as. And here we were told to evaluate the function e to the x for x is equal to 0 0.5. So the true value here, if you go ahead and you plug it into your calculator, you're going to find out that you have a true value of, we'll call it 1.648. Seven, two, one, whatever, and then whatever your calculator uh, gives you spits out. So, and then you would multiply this value for the true error by a hundred percent, and then the top is given by an absolute value. This whole thing should be an absolute value because you're dealing with percent. It shouldn't really matter if you get negative five point two. Let's say, let's say you get negative five point two percent, negative twenty percent. It just means just use a positive case. So, if you were to go ahead and you were to plug this in your calculator you would see that you would find a value of, let's see what we get, if we plug this in, 
this one. So if we were to plug this in, we would see that we get a value of 39.3%. Okay, so that's what we get for our uh, true, so I'll go ahead and write this, for our true percent error. True percent error. So we get a value of 39.3. So now it's time to go ahead and approximate the relative. If you go ahead and you approximate the relative, what you need to do is use your term you found with the Maclaurin series. And then you use this term and then you subtract by the previous term using the Maclaurin series or the uh, previous, previous uh, terms you need to use. So in this case, we started with the first term. So if we're using the first term, we can't go, we can't subtract it by anything because this is the first, this is the first term we calculated. So in this case, you can say that EA is not applicable. You can't, you can't find EA here because this is your first term. What you're going to notice is you can only find the relative percent for, for the second, uh, for if you're dealing with not the first term, the second and uh, onwards. So what we need to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the second term or the next two terms in the series. If you're using the next two terms in the series, you're going to get 1 plus x. The reason it's 1 plus x is because if you look at the general, uh, if you look here, the general Maclaurin series is CO, C1x, where CO and C1x are just the coefficients of the Maclaurin series. So here you have one, here you have one, you'll get one plus x. So if you're getting one plus x, you're actually getting one plus 0 0.5 and you're getting 1.5. So this number 1.5, it's uh, relatively closer to e to the 0 0.5 because e to the 0 0.5 is equal to 1.64. So you see we're getting closer. The first time we got one, now we're getting 1.64. We erase this. So it's time to find the the true percentage. So to find the true percentage, you would do e to the 0 0.5 minus 1.5 over e to 0 0.5. You would put the absolute value here and then multiply it by 100%. And if you do this, you're going to see that you're going to get, do it in your calculator. You're going to get a value of 9.02%. You're going to get a value of 9.02%. So this is what you're going to get for your true, uh, true error. And then if you were to go ahead and do the relative error, now we'd, you would use your approximation that you just calculated using your Maclaurin series right here. And then you would subtract it by the previous uh, term that you found. The previous term here using only one term was 1. So you track this by 1 and then you would divide the whole thing by 1.5 and then same thing applies. This is relative error. So just go ahead and put those and then it's a percentage so you multiply this by 100. If you're doing this you're just going to go ahead you're going to plug it in your calculator and you should get a value of let me go ahead and plug this. So you should get a value of 33.3%. So there you have it. What we did here is we used the Maclaurin series in order to approximate using one term and two terms. And then using our first term, we went ahead and we found the true relative error for ET here. We said we couldn't find the relative percentage because in order to find the relative percentage, you need to use the previous terms. And since one here is our, pre, uh, is our first term, we can't find the relative percent. When we went down and we used two terms, what we saw is that we got closer to e to the 0 0.5, which was 1.6, 1.6 something. So you see we're getting closer to 1.6 in this case. And then due to that, we see that we can find the true 
percentage error here and we found that it was 9.02 percent which was actually smaller so if you go ahead and you look at the first one for only one term the first term was 39.3 where in the second case it was nine percent so the idea is we're converging we're going to get closer to zero if we're going to start using more terms and then we calculated our first uh, relative percentage error using 30 and we got 33.3 percent we used the term we calculated using the Maclaurin series, and then we subtracted by the previous, uh, by the previous uh, term we found with the Maclaurin series. So that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.